Okay, what's up everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to show this little project I'm doing uh, using cylinder head porting technology. Basically to radius, uh, create velocity, which if some of you don't know what that means, it's like when you put your thumb over the hose and the water goes spraying hella far. Pretty much the same idea. Um, but I just wanted to show you a couple things uh, real quick here. Sorry. So inside, here's our valve. Normally these just go straight in and over out. I've got this zoomed in so I can really show you the radiusing. Okay. So right in here. See here. Right inside. Shoot. Here. You can just see everything has been radiused, polished evenly though. Basically, it's looking like a intake runner on a race cylinder head. But yeah, I mean you can just see it. Just there's the short turn like a valve going in. And normally that's like a T. It does not flow like that. So you know what this also does is it unshrouds <clears throat> this valve. Let's see here. I'm too zoomed in. Wait. Okay. It unshrouds this valve a ton. Which if I can stick it in there. It's hard to see with the light, but uh, you just got to, I mean, it's just completely unshrouded. You don't even need to remove material off the valve anymore. Um, and then also what I've done is inside the gun barrel where the transfer, transfer port is, is I've radiused and rolled the inside of all of that. Let's see if I can get that a little better for you. The phone's being a turd. Uh, you can kind of, you can kind of see it. Got to get it right in the light. There we go. So, and <clears throat> everything I use to do this, let me get it for you here. Are these little Dremel bits? Okay, it's a little tiny ball head one. I don't know why this phone's being up. There we go. So this little guy right here did 99% of all the work. Just because I could get it inside all the ports, open up one angle to be able to start to remove material and mold it the way I wanted to. And then obviously I use this one, it's pretty much a throat cutter, uh, just for the other end of the valve. For back down inside of here. Let's see if we get to zoom in. And you know, I was able to take about oh, eight thousandths off of the inside of there. But what I'm doing is, is it's heavy. There's more material taken out back here. And it's basically going to be forming like this. You're, so you're, you're, you're pushing this air out of a blowpipe almost. You're creating, you're starting with a big opening and then you're narrowing down to a very tiny opening, which creates a ton of velocity, which in turn is going to give you more feet per second. So this valve obviously uh, cut, cut three of the threads off, removed a ton of material out of there, but <clears throat> all the main work. Let me see if I get this out of the vise. All of the power is really gonna come right here. I mean, let me get this zoomed in for you. Give you some ideas. I mean, when, once you get in there, once you cut that angle without mangling your valve seat right here, once you get back in there, let me see if I can get that in for you. You are going to just I mean, if you know cylinder heads by chance and you like air guns, I mean, dude, 
You'll know what I'm talking about. Just get in there, roll it, get a nice clean radius, use the right bit, start in the pocket before you turn your bit on so you don't go buzzing and, you know, tearing up your, your valve or you're done. So just take your time, get in there, and every corner, roll it, flatten it out. Basically, just think of creating a funnel because all that air is going to funnel up to that transfer port right there which in turn is going to shoot up into your barrel. Okay. And why not take all the sharp edges? Come on, focus, you turd. There we go. See, see, all inside of there looks just like that valve. Okay. So look at that. Oh, shit. it turned out sweet. I love it. We're going to see what this does, but let me tell you something. Uh, after I was looking at flow numbers through cylinder heads and learning different velocity techniques and all that, I don't know if you can see me near my glasses, baldy. Uh, once you do that with the cylinder heads, uh, you radius everything, you create turbulent air, uh, you eliminate turbulent air so you can pretty much... Uh, keep air and fuel from from separating well in this case we're going to keep turbulent air from undirecting our air flow from the back of the pellet so we're basically just going to go around everything create a funnel effect and we're going to shoot right behind that pellet and i'm hoping for like i'll just say it another 220 feet per second out of the same length barrel so we'll see what happens give it a shot thanks for watching